free to use by schools and teaching institutions. This video can be freely used by any school or institute for teaching purposes. We only ask that you recommend us to the pupils parents and other schools. We believe that education should be freely available to all. Thank you. Please make sure you have covered a more detailed video on this topic, vid hashtag 1, before studying this video. This video will help you to understand, how to solve simple algebraic equations containing numbers and letters. An algebraic equation is what you can see in front of you. In this video we'll be looking at very simple algebraic equations. Algebraic equations can become very complex. What we are covering here are a foundation for more complexes equation which you will meet in the future. An equation is divided into three major parts as shown. A left side, which can have numbers, signs, and letters, in this equation we just have numbers and a sign. A right side, which can also have numbers, signs, and letters, in this equation we just have a letter. In the middle of the equation, between the two sides, we have the equal sign. Whenever you see an equal sign, then you know that you are dealing with equations. Every equation will have at least one number missing, and will be either replaced by a letter. You have to find this number. This process of finding the number is called solving the equation. Note, that both sides of the equation are in a balance, or equal to each other. When we are dealing with equations, you will quite frequently meet the word term. The equation in front of you has three terms. Let us see what they are. This is the first term. Here it's just a number. This is the second term. Here it's just another number. This is the third term. This term is just a letter. In this video you will see, this style of equations, where the second number on the left side is missing, which we have to work out. Let us briefly look at this before doing an exercise. On the left side, first we have a number. Followed by the plus sign, which tells us that an addition operation will follow. Following the plus sign is the letter representing the missing number. This is what we have to work out. Next, we have the equal sign, which tells us that both sides of the equation are in balance, meaning they are equal in value. On the right side is the result already worked out. We have to ensure that the left side also gives us the same result. Next, we will see how easily you can solve this style of equations. First look to see if you can find the missing answer by working it in your head. If you can't then use the following method. Shown in blue is how you work out the answer. Your answer is found by subtracting 4 from 7, as shown. In this case the answer is 3. You can check to see if this is the correct answer, by replacing the letter by this value. If answer is correct then both sides will give the same value. We can see both side of the equation give us 7. This means our answer was correct. So, 
let's us get started with the exercise. This exercise will test your understanding of solving simple equations containing three terms. One term is missing, which you have to find. In this exercise, there are 12 questions. You will have 20 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. Exercise 1 Find the value of C. 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 Find the value of C.
find the value of C. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.